yeah, yeah, yeah. What up, what up, what up? Y'all already know what it is, man. How y'all doing today? Y'all already know we're a little late today, but it's all good. Y'all now tuned in to A Real Talk Podcast, man. What's going on with y'all? Y'all, I apologize for yesterday's absence, you know, but we back here right now. So what's going on? How y'all feeling today? It's another beautiful day in the city of Columbus, Ohio. And as y'all see the title of the sky, y'all, y'all don't want to say, if you was offended by that title of today's show, so what? Who cares? Choose not to be. How about that? Because that's how I feel. And I'm not coming from no place of BS or negativity. I mean, that's truly how I feel. And I'm going to go into why I say fuck voting. I mean, outside of the count that it don't change anything, nothing happens, nothing good happens, nothing happens that's for the benefit of the poor people, the people who are most affected by these laws and issues being talked about and being voted on. We got a couple few different issues that was on the ballot yesterday, right? And let me first say this. If you go vote, you participate in voting, that is your business. That is your right to do. You know, I'm not uh, sitting here, you know, saying that you're stupid for voting. You're dumb for voting. Whatever, whatever. If you want to exercise your right, privilege, whatever you want to call it to vote, I strongly want you to do that. And I encourage you to do that. You know, I'm never going to tell nobody what to do and what not to do. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying for me, fuck voting. And I'm explaining why. You know what I mean? And, if you have the courage to do some research and go look into some things, maybe you might be, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you might think different about voting. Maybe you won't. Hey, it's up to you. You make your own mind up. That's that's what we do on A Real Talk Podcast, man. We let you make your mind up about what you're hearing. Believe it, don't believe it, accept it, don't accept it. It's up to you. You know what I mean? But when it comes to voting yesterday, I, you know what I mean? The first thing we're going to talk about is the Child Service Children Services Tax Act, right? They sit here telling us, right, that if we don't vote to keep the current, you know, tax levy in place, right, it's going to be less funding to children's services. And this funding is to the most vital part of children's services where the kids uh, who get placed in the homes, the funding for that. You know, it gets funding for the uh, protection to make sure these kids are in safe homes, make sure that they ain't going to pedophiles and rapists and people who got a history of abusing children's homes. You know, then we got voting for municipal judge. We got voting for uh, Franklin County environmental judge. Stephanie Mingo and I believe the guy's name is William, uh, William Selazar or Spelazar. No, my fault, Spalazza. Yeah, that's his name. I'm going to tell you like this. The Ohio Environmental Council, right, Political Action Committee, <clears throat> they are partially owned by none other than Berkshire Hathaway, which is partially, which is owned by none other than Warren Buffett. See, like I told my message, you got to connect the dots on unseemingly related people organizations and business and stuff so when you do your research into warren buffett who's into stuff like gmo food gmos and food and see he's also into population reduction as well right I'm along with his buddies ted turner and bill gates and all them and that's what that's all about and, and that all ties in with the uh ties in with the um Environmental act, and I told you what I you remember. What I'll be talking about the Columbus Climate Action and Resilient Plan, UN Agenda 2030. Y'all hear I'm talking about these Green New Deals, these environmental protection laws. It's just no mystery at the same time when all of this stuff is coming in 
that they is hiring new people in, to, to fill these positions that are going to be dealing strictly with these these areas of infrastructure and local government. They vote on new city council. They're voting for a new environmental judge, two new municipal judges, right? They uh, voting for to keep the current tax levy on the uh, child services tax. What's going on right now? Kids coming up missing. Kids being placed in abusive homes. Kids being taken away from their parents for the most spurious of reasons. Right? We got corruption in the municipal court, especially in Franklin County. We got the Columbus Climate Action and Resilient Plans that's being administered through the local government by the UN, the United Nations. And now we have organizations that are owned by people like Warren Buffett through subsidiary companies have an influence on local environmental legislation. It's like I was telling my a friend the other night, I was telling him like you gotta be able to put the pieces of the puzzle together. You gotta be able to connect the dots. And that's why I say fuck voting. Cause it used to be even on a local level we had some influence, but even on a local level we they're bought out. They're they're bought and paid for by the hit in hand, y'all. Now we got the Columbus City Council. All them people running for council. You gotta dig into who funds them, who's funding their campaigns, what committee boards they sit on, what chair boards they sit on, what groups they are members of, what fraternal organizations they attended in college. This is the stuff you gotta find out when you are doing research into these people's backgrounds so you can connect the dots. Now, with this guy, Spurlatza, he is funded by the Ohio Environmental Council, right? The um, Economic Division of the Public uh, Action Committee uh, Economic Division. So, and when I looked into who the Ohio Economical Council is and who funds them, what you do is when you research the Ohio Economical Council, what you're going to find out is that they're owned by... Let me see. They're owned by a company, right? That sits on the board. That, that they're on, I mean, they're on the cup. They're, they're owned by a company that's affiliated with Warren Buffett, right? So, like I said, you gotta be able to piece all this stuff together, man. You gotta be able to connect the dots of seemingly unrelated people. And, one, and see why things play out the way they do. Now, like I said, I'm never going to tell anybody what to do and what not to do. If you want to vote, and I mean, that's up to you. I encourage you to exercise your right. I, I wouldn't tell you to not go vote. That's up to you for you to decide if you want to vote or not. All I'm saying is I'm providing a different aspect and perspective to look at this situation from some research you can do if you care to. And you can figure this stuff out for yourself. Like I, I like I say, I'm not gonna be telling y'all what y'all should be mad at, what you should be upset about, what you should do, what you shouldn't do. I have the faith in y'all that y'all have the mental capacity and the wherewithal to make up a decision for yourself, right? Once you are prevented with all the information that is able to be provided to you about a situation, so you can make a sound decision. Now about the situation and that's that's all we doing here at a real talk podcast man we're going to talk about all the things that's going on geopolitical affairs local affairs national affairs that affect us and everybody else around us you know and i say fuck voting because we voting for these people they're all funded most of them are funded on the trickle by, by way of the trickle down effect they're mostly funded by these hidden hand corporations or people. You know, I strongly suggest that people do some research into the Columbus Climate Action and Resilient Plan or whatever city you may be from. Just go to your Google search engine and type in the name of your city, Climate Action and Resilient Plan. And resilience is spelled R-E-S-I-L-I-E-N-C-E. -E. All right. I 
I want y'all to understand that all these local votings that just happened, all these local elections, elections to city officials, township officials, people who are in charge of local legislation bodies, legislative bodies, people who are members of the Ohio Economic Council and people who are members of local governments and local government organizations. You know, we've got aldermen that have been elected. We got city council members being elected. We got judges being elected. These people hold a lot of power locally and they're being bribed basically by these international bankers through the UN. And these people are taking these loans, taking these grants is what they're calling them from the United Nation and uh, from the International Monetary Fund. And they're supposed to be using this money to upgrade the infrastructure of their cities to make the cities smart. But what they're doing is they taking this money and they pocketing a lot of it and they taking a notoriety and they taking a new positions for passing these laws unbeknownst to us through the city council, through the Ohio uh, Franklin County Environmental uh, Association with positions like the Franklin County Environmental Judge. You know, another part of UN Agenda 2030 is the assault on our children. That's why they're going through the thing. That's why all the child protection services is going through a rehaul. They're encouraging the breaking up of families. They're encouraging the taking away of children from their families for the most spurious, meaningless, pointless reasons. So that's why I just keep going in, like how I keep going in. And like I say, if you do the research, you'll come to find out that a lot of the stuff that I'll be talking about is not only true, but supported with facts and evidence by these very institutions who are doing it by their own writings and sayings. So that's just something I always want people just to, you know, keep in mind, you know, saying that what I'm talking, when I'm saying the stuff I'm saying, you know, the stuff I'm saying is all facts. You know, like I always say to people, you know, you make up other facts what you will. I'm not going to tell you what you should believe, what you shouldn't believe. You know, you make your own mind up. And, you know, it's very important for us to have these conversations because a lot of us don't know that we're being manipulated. We don't know how we're being manipulated. And the worst part about it, like I said, is we don't know. That, it's not even that we know how we're being manipulated. It's that most people don't even understand that they're being manipulated. So we got to get to the bottom of this. And that's what we're going to do here at A Real Talk Podcast. About to have, start having guests come on. We're going to start having people come on and doing interviews and giving their insight into the situations and topics we're going to be talking about. You know, because we got to have fairness and balance. So we, I, I encourage people who vehemently disagree with the topics you hear on A Real Talk Podcast. I strongly encourage y'all to message me, uh, comment. And get involved in states of peace. And you're more than welcome to come on and meet up. We can we can talk about it. We can record. We can we can we can record it and put it online for everybody to see and chime in and give their opinion about. I'm just here to encourage public discourse because we are being tricked and manipulated into silencing ourselves, which is the worst censorship of all, and each other. You know what I mean? And I'm just advocating for that. That's what we do here at Every Talk Podcast. All opinions are welcome. All opinions are valid. And all opinions are respected and desire to be heard, whether we agree with them or not. So, you know, I thank y'all for tuning in. This has been A Real Talk Podcast for today's episode, you know, uh, November 5th or November 6th, 2019. You know, y'all enjoy y'all's rest of y'all's afternoon. Y'all want to get with me, get with me on Instagram, Barry.Virgil, all low car- low, lowercase letters. Get with me on Twitter, capital B-E-R-R-Y, the number two, capital V-I-R-L-I-R-G-I-L on Twitter. And just hit me up on Facebook at Virgil Barry. You're going to see that picture with the Benny the Butcher fitted on. Like I said, man, y'all already know what it is, man. Question everything, even the stuff you hear me saying. Don't believe nothing you hear me saying. Don't believe anything you hear me say. Question everything, most vehemently the stuff you hear me talk about. And you make a mind up for yourself. You make your own mind up about what you're hearing. Y'all enjoy the rest of y'all afternoon. Peace, love, man. Love and blessings. Holla back.